This is Rob Friedlander, communications director on Beto's campaign. I'm Rob Flaherty. I'm the digital director. And I'm Ophiari Haskell. I'm the deputy communications director for states. And we're not Jen O'Malley Dillon. She's in a meeting right now, and so we decided we're going for lunch. We're going to go get a salad, and you guys should come with us, and we're going to do the update ourselves. What's been going on? Last week, Beto had another super strong debate performance. Debate day is always a long day. Beto and a couple of us played some Frisbee beforehand. Is Beto this. good at Frisbee? He is fantastic at Frisbee. He's the ultimate at Frisbee. Sure. Oh, wow. That's definitely gonna cut. Didn't so, uh, Cory Booker give you guys some cookies? He shared vegan Buckeyes. That's very, very good and incredibly gracious. Thank you, Senator Booker. To, Thanks to let Booker. us get it on. Jenna from Team Booker sent me a picture of Beto and Rosario Dawson. Which That's was cool. right. Yeah, some of those lighthearted moments post-debate, you know, you're up there duking it out with people, but um, very nice to see how well the candidates all get along in sort of smaller, unscripted moments. Also, we were in Dallas for the Rally Against Fear. Beto gave a really rousing speech um, about how we can't be afraid and have to be fearless in this really tremendous moment that's make or break for the country. Maybe. I did see the Trump oh, baby. Yeah. Um, he came up and spoke to me for a little bit. He was pretty quiet. Not, you know, quiet guy. Quiet guy. Reserved, not what I thought. Not inflatable. what I expected from the president. Beto was in Alabama earlier this week. He went to um, Goat House Brewery, met a lot of great people at a house party. He went to the Equal Justice Initiative um, with Brian Stevenson, the lynching museum. And then they went to the Alabama Democratic Party convention where he gave a really great speech. The District of I Columbia. Really great couple days for us. Beto packed in a ton of national press and talks. He did a live Q&A at the Washington Post. He was on TikTok. TikTok! We need to bring everyone in this country into the solutions. And that's what I will do as president of the United States. Yeah, okay, I'll put you in a TikTok. Beto's going to New York. It's going to be a lot of Beto next week on your TV. And then Friday, he's going to be in Iowa for the newly renamed Liberty and Justice Celebration, yes. which formerly is known as JJ. 14 presidential candidates get up there and make their spiel about why they should be president. One thing uh, we should talk about too, outvote. We laid out sort of an ambitious goal of raising uh, two million extra dollars um, to be able to fund the programs that we need to fund uh, to be able to get into uh, the November debate and now the December debate, uh, which by the way, we are in on, on donors. Uh, we just need to figure out uh, the polling part and we feel pretty confident about that. Yep. We're piloting different ways that you folks yourself can actually uh, go out and take action to help us get on the debate stage. And that looks a lot like talking to your friends, um, talking to your family, uh, and, and, and making sure that people um, see uh, uh, and hear from you about why, why you're supporting Beto. If you are interested in getting in the pilot, uh, uh, let us know and, and, and we can get you in there. We're hoping to roll that out in the next couple of weeks. We did have a bunch of policy we rolls. Talk about what did we roll out? Disability policy around a woman named Amanda. Amanda. That he yeah, met. her name is Amanda. We also rolled out our opioids policy. We did housing policy housing. in the last housing. two weeks. Yeah. All right, so we got our salads. Uh, I'm Rob Friedlander. Uh, here, to, here to. We just, I didn't really think about the joke beyond that. Punchline delivered. <laughs> we switched, and then I, I was going to be Friedlander, and he was going to be Flaherty. In lieu of Jen taking questions, we are going to take questions out of this bowl. Excellent. How many fish died? <laughs> How many fish died this week? Please update us. Uh, Dude, I don't think Jen has um, updated Jen us in a while, fish, which I think is no either. I think that's positive. Can you comment on next week's schedule for Beto? Sure. I think we kind of went over it yeah, a little bit. Yeah, we covered bit, it. Sorry, but Let's go over it again. It's New York. <laughs> and then he will go to Iowa for the Liberty Justice Celebration, formerly known as the JJ. How did you get your start in politics? Friedlander, do you want to take it away? Uh, I started as an Obama organizer in 2008. Uh, before that, I was a prolific high school soccer player. At some point, I ended up working for Amy Klobuchar. I then took a job at Treasury, the Treasury Department. I left uh, managing our economy to um, lead communications for a scrappy upstart named Beto O'Rourke running against Ted Cruz in the Senate race. And then uh, now I'm the communications director for his presidential race. What about you, Flaherty? Yeah, Flaherty. Do you happen to recall, as well as I do, <laughs> what your history is? Hard for me to go into that level of detail. Prominent role on the digital communications team on Hillary Clinton's 2016. Led a really significant and powerful team at Priorities USA. Here I am in El Paso. Tell yeah. Beto what works. I'm president. Yeah. Oh, Farrell, what about you? I was an organizer for Obama in 12 in Austin. I was a press assistant for Wendy Davis. Then I worked for Claire McCaskill on the Hill for a little bit. Then I joined this Rob on the Hillary campaign in Wisconsin. Then I that went to Rob. Virginia and did the governor's race and found my way here. El Paso, as they call it, the uh, the Grande Manzana. Yo soy Rob Friedlander. <laughs> 
With so much negativity on social media, what can we as supporters do to keep morale up? What Beto would do in those situations where people are being nasty and mean, that's not really his style, never has been. He's, he meets people with kindness and understanding and compassion. And I think that's a great model for those of us on staff, our supporters. That's good advice. Yeah. That's been our weekly update. Um, thank you guys for watching these. We love making them. We love talking with you guys. Keep asking these questions. Jen will pick up next week. And if not, we're going to go and get an even more interesting food. Next week, I'm going to suggest L and J. So if Jen can't update. do it next week, we're going to, uh, regardless, we're going to be there regardless. Y'all can come along. See you next week.